There are two types of glasses, concave and convex ones. They manipulate light as lenses or mirrors. Each one has a focal length, and depending on how far an object is, the image it makes will change in size and distance. 1 over i plus 1 over o is 1 over f. And the height of the image over the height of the object is equal to m. m also equals their distances divided this way. And to find out where an image will be, we can trace an object's rays. For concave mirrors and convex lenses, you draw lines parallel to the axis. Those lines will travel into the focus, whether they are reflected or refracted. Next you draw a line through the focal point, that line will end up parallel to the principal axis. The intersection is where you'll find the image. Convex mirror concave lens. These two are different Lines drawn parallel travel Away from the focus The second line goes towards F But travels parallel when it hits the glass And if you trace these back You'll find where your image is whether an image is virtual or real depends on some rules If you have to trace the rays back like here, the image is virtual But if the rays you draw intersect without tracing back Then the image you form right there is real, it's as simple as that Aside from being convex or concave Mirrors can be straight Duh And if you draw perpendicular to the surface you can see how light be when it hits the angle of incidence equals the angle at which it's reflected And the angles used are always the ones between the ray and the perpendicular Lenses and mirrors and angles and drawings This is the world of geometric optics there is just one more thing we haven't yet observed Refraction When light enters into a transparent object It will end up bent And if we draw perpendicular lines to the surfaces We find this equation N is the index of refraction which equals C divided by V C is the speed of light in a vacuum and V is the speed of light in your material Total internal reflection occurs if no light penetrates This occurs at the angle of refraction is at least 98 degrees Using Snell's law, you can find the angle you need to achieve TIR Sine of 90 is 1, the rest is algebra Lenses and mirrors and angles and drawings This is the world of geometric optics